Hey y'all, if this is the first time we're meeting, hey, I'm Stacy. I'm a paramedic and paramedic educator. And today I wanted to talk about benzodiazepine overdoses. So I know something that we see very often out in the EMS field is narcotic overdose, right? And we all carry Narcan. Um, it's a first responder drug. Actually, it's really available to the general public. So let's talk about benzodiazepine overdoses. Now benzodiazepine is a drug class that acts on the GABA receptors in the body and this causes and induces central nervous system depression. Now they're pretty common medications. Um, most EMS services have at least one type of benzodiazepine. We use them to treat seizures, anxiety, sedation for certain types of procedures and violent or combative behavioral emergencies. And just a little side note, this drug class usually ends in LAM or PAM. So we have midazolam, diazepam, uh, lorazepam, and a really common one that you'll see your patients prescribed, like especially if they have anxiety, is alprazolam, aka Xanax. Anyway, so if your patient overdoses on these types of medications, we don't typically have an antidote out in the EMS pre-hospital setting, but there is an antidote out there and it's within the paramedic scope. It's just, we usually don't have access to it. So this medication is called Flumazenil, AKA Romazicon. Now we give this medication for benzodiazepine overdoses. So why wouldn't we carry it in the pre-hospital setting? So reason number one would be that Benzodiazepine overdoses are not as common as narcotic overdoses, so there's not a ton that we see out in the EMS field. They happen, but just not as often. And the other reason, there is a high risk of seizures with this medication. So out in the pre-hospital setting, what do we do if our patient has seizures? You guessed it, a benzodiazepine. Wouldn't make a lot of sense, right? Now you do hear of it given in the OR and places like that where things are more controlled and you have uh, more control over the patient's airway, things of that nature. But when I did my research and I made this post, I reached out to ER physicians and nurses and nurse pracs and not a single one had super positive things to say about it. Um, they told me that it did nothing. I had some say that it did more damage than good. I had some say that it worked, but it caused a lot of bad side effects. So you make the... So what do you guys think? Should we have it pre-hospitally or is it probably better that we don't? 